All right, so welcome to another video, Poco X3 Pro users, Vayu, Bhima, new update available in India, MI UI 12.5.5 stable. Everybody is calling it an enhanced edition. I don't think it is an enhanced edition. That is number one. Two, everyone is saying that now 12.5 is not the reason for breaking off devices. Uh, hardware issue is. So we're going to check that in this particular video. The update is out just since a day. I installed it this morning, so like two to three hours back. I have flashed it. I've tried all the sort of things that are available. And this is a quick review for you guys. It should tell you if you should install it or not. And before we get into the video, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing and quick content like this. If you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. And if you like chatting with like-minded people with similar devices, you can follow us on Telegram. We have more than 1300 people over there and you can join us on Twitter, Telegram, Facebook and Instagram. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash, let's get going. All right, so let's talk about this particular update first. So you go to About Phone, you go to the MIUI version, you see MIUI 12.5.5 stable. I've disabled the internet, that is why it says cannot connect to internet. So let's go and what's new. 12.5.5 RJUINXM. If you remember a month back, I did a stable beta review. This is probably based on that. Some differences in the letters here and there. Optimized system performance, improved system security and stability. So I'll tell you this from personal experience of the Mi 11X. Whenever they are releasing an enhanced edition for any device, they definitely go ahead and write that this is the enhanced edition and they have the long two page change log, which is useless. Atomic memory, this, that, this, that, flash storage, whatever, I don't know. But yeah, trust me, from the looks of it, this is not enhanced edition. Is it a bad update? No, by no means is it a bad update because if you go to settings and you go to say additional settings, you do now have clear speaker, which I've not seen earlier. You do have memory extension, add two gigabytes of RAM by occupying storage. Use this feature only when there's enough storage space available on your device. Of course, this is a 128 gig device and my primary device is something else. So it doesn't really matter to me. I keep it on always. Okay. Now let's talk about important aspects over here. For example, if you go to settings over here and uh, if you go to more, you go to the POCO launcher settings 2.22.1.856. Now this is a new version. You do get a new feature over here, right? So it says in app query mode, directly find contents within the app. Let's see here. So find what you're looking for in your favorite apps. Our search results are much more comprehensive now. You have this animated preview over here. This service is powered by Branch Matrix Incorporative. Your location info, search queries, and Google Ads ID will be shared with Branch. Read and agree. Okay, I don't mind because I don't really have a lot of uh, personal data on this device, but I'm yet to find out what this actually feature actually does. I think it's it's the search mode over here, which actually goes ahead and makes some new features available and stuff like that. If you disable open search bar on app drawer and stuff like that, right? So the launcher is updated, but you still have the beautifully broken Poco animations. I'm being sarcastic there, but I don't have a choice. I mean, come on guys, you like, look at this. Soon there is going to be a video of uh, Xiaomi.eu based on MIUI 12.5.7, right? That will have good animations because that will probably have system launcher. So yeah, not that it's lagging a lot or anything, but the animations are plain broken. I really don't understand why are these guys plain ignoring it. Anyways, let's go to the camera application over here. If you go to more, you don't really have any new features, same old features in the camera application. And if you actually go to the launcher settings once again, right? If you go to the app drawer, nothing new over here. Home screen, you do have Google Discover, which brings me to my amazing frustration once again. The reason I say amazing frustration is because it's amazing that they have Google feed in, baked into the home launcher by default. But look at this. Yeah. Nobody can deny this that on the stock MIUI ROM, it stutters like hell. I don't know why, what problem? There are two things that the Poco team just cannot fix. And I, I, I don't want to rant about it, but it's a fact, right? You cannot have the animations fixed and you cannot have the Google feed smooth. 
anyways we'll check that in eu so the google feed is not smooth and uh, if you talk about the control center it is the same old thing nothing new to be seen over here you can actually go ahead and edit this to see if you have any new features you have screen recorder and everything no screen jitter while recording the display everything working absolutely fine for what's worth you know the control center is smooth as butter it is really really smooth in this particular update i will tell you this the ui is fluent if you go to 120 hertz mode yes the ui is fluent it's working much much better compared to earlier compared to 12.5.4 now the surprising part is they've not mentioned that if you flash this your device will not break uh yeah it's it's a little weird but yeah they have not mentioned that it will break or it will not break my bet on it is well it is probably a hardware issue but flash mio 12.5 roms at your own risk this is a surprisingly decent update we will look at the benchmark numbers as well so it's a good update not to say that it's a bad update now if you actually go to settings over here and you go to battery you have another feature that they have not added the performance mode toggle is still not to be seen over here and in the two hours that i've been using this particular device the screen has been on for one hour and i was at around 90 degrees so it, it's giving very good standby and hardcore usage times so that's pretty decent right now if you actually go to special features you have game turbo you don't really have the new game turbo you still have the old game turbo in which i've added the benchmarks and ran them you do have the video toolbox so if you actually go to youtube which i've set as a video toolbox application you do have the video toolbox working it is coming with a new ui some customization here and there so yeah the video toolbox is there but the smart toolbox that they added in the latest beta updates is still not there if you go to privacy you still don't have the mir 12.5 china ui so it is still old right now apart from this you now have the about phone section at the top and the whole ui is smooth if you actually go to display you will notice that i have set it to 120 hertz and surprisingly what is dynamic refresh rate again I saw a post today in one of the POCO X3 Pro official groups in which they shared that uh, POCO was supposed to give us dynamic refresh rate which will give you 60, 90 and 120 as a choice. Now this device coming with a 5000 mAh battery is not a problem but where do I see the 60 hertz again? Let me see over here. So even in Google Chrome, you don't have 60 Hertz. I just don't see this particular refresh rate going to 60. This might be a new bug that they might introduced by mistake or something. But in all my usage of two hours, I've never seen the display go below 120 Hertz, which of course is going to eat into your battery, which is really, really weird. You don't get any super wallpapers, of course. And uh, let me show you something funny. If you actually go to battery over here, right? You go to battery saver, okay? As you can see, you have the battery saver option over here. Fix two battery usage issues. Okay. Turn on dark mode. One hour and three minutes of screen on time will increase or overall battery will increase by turning on dark mode. This is a LCD display. It will not happen. Turn off always on display. Let's add 32 minutes. Do we have always on display? We don't. So that's really, really weird. Anyways, stupid stuff by Poco team. So let's actually go to settings over here and let's see 5.5.1 is the latest security update i don't know why they don't have the new game turbo for example let me actually go to cpu throttle test over here and let's look at the game turbo application let's go to geekbench maybe boost it successfully there you have it this is the same old game turbo okay now you do have some applications over here in fact a lot of applications they made some changes over here but you do have your voice changer and all the other things. Voice changer is working fine. No problem whatsoever in this particular app. So the screen recording, as I said, is absolutely okay. No problems, nothing to worry there. The charging is fine. The camera works okay. The UI is fluid. I have not noticed any major, major bugs, but uh, there is something that I installed today called multi-touch tester. So, so one, two, three, four, okay. Okay, so it's struggling to detect 10 fingers. But if you keep all five, say like this. Oh, check this out. I don't know if it's the issue with the application. I think it might be an issue with the application. So let's see here, five and another five. Yeah, 
so for me at least luckily on this device i don't have any multi touch issue but uh, yeah if you have issues probably try some apps like these and apart from this if you go to system apps updater over here let's go to system apps updater nothing major over here a couple of applications were updated you do get the latest version of the launcher with not many fixes you don't really have any more special features and stuff like that now let's quickly go and look at the benchmark numbers for which we will go to the gallery of course now while we're at it let's go to settings as you can see over here this is the updated gallery that you have over here but not completely updated this is in the middle right so let's go to screenshot let's talk about geekbench single core 780 multi core 2448 sad multi core score decent single core score if you talk about the cpu throttle test now this test that you see over here i ran this after enabling game turbo disabling all the applications disabling internet because it was still doing something in the background so cpu throttle to 95% of its max performance 181 190 gps so very good cpu throttle score there and let's go ahead and talk about entry to benchmark here real quick all this while keep a note that it's not going to 60 hertz 577,817. So the benchmark numbers are decent. If you have the right conditions, it is not even throttling. Maybe later, if I get the time, I'll go ahead and do a gaming review. All in all, MI here 12.5.5 is not enhanced. It gives you clear speaker. It gives you memory extension and a lot of lag in Google feed. Decent benchmark numbers. Good, decent battery charging and battery backup. All in all. decent update nothing out of the ordinary we will wait for enhanced edition and we will see what 12.5.7 xiaomi.eu has to offer let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care see you in the next one